I'm upgrading my power walls, but I'm not getting more solar panels or battery storage. Instead, I'm getting a smart panel. That's gonna allow me to monitor and control every circuit in my house from my phone. Most of the time when you get a power wall or battery backup, you have to choose what loads you want on backup. You can't back up your whole house. You'll likely put things like the fridge, the internet, maybe some lights and possibly the TV, but not everything is gonna fit on there because the power wall can only put out so much power at one time and just a single power wall doesn't have enough to power your whole house. Now, in my case, I was able to put my whole house on backup because I have kind of the perfect combo of two power walls giving me 60 amps of max output and a small 1,000 square foot house, meaning I don't have huge energy needs. And in fact, it worked well enough that I was able to live off grid for almost five full days without changing our habits at all, because during the day, my solar panels would fill the power walls almost all the way back up, and then we'd be back in business the following day. Well, had I been using the smart panel by span, I actually would have been able to predict exactly how much time I would have on my battery backup. And I also would be able to see exactly when and where we were using too much energy to keep going. The way it works is that in the app, they give you circuit level monitoring, plus they monitor your battery, and they're able to use those two to figure out exactly how long you would last on backup power if the grid went off at that exact moment based on your current usage. Obviously, I love this because there's even more granular data that I can use to monitor my energy usage and thus make changes to become more efficient. So Span reached out to me a little while ago and offered to do an install so I could share that experience with you here. And when I first started talking to them, I was really impressed with the concept because it never dawned on me and maybe it didn't dawn on anyone else that we have all these smart appliances and smart everything in our home but we never really thought to make the electric panel smart. And the electric panel is like at the core of your home's energy system. So what they've done here is really kind of just a, a step forward in this technology that really helps you understand what's going on in your home, control what's going on in your home, and even give you kind of a, a new way of working with and controlling your energy systems that just didn't exist before. For example, I had no clue that the mini split in my detached office was taking up so much energy. It turns out that I didn't have it configured right, so it was running 24 seven, regardless if it needed to heat or cool the room, and using about as much energy as my fridge is. And I learned that by looking at the insights feed on the dashboard, which gave me all kinds of insights about how energy is being used in my house, which gives me even more ways to think about how to become more efficient. But Beyond just monitoring the usage at that circuit level, the span panel also lets me control all of these circuits all from my phone. And for me, this came in handy when I had to change a dimmer switch out in my son's room. All right, so I'm here in my son's room and we have these lights here and they're on a dimmer switch, but the dimmer switch doesn't really work that well. Like if I go up and down, it just either doesn't work at all or barely works, it's not responsive, etc. So I want to replace that dimmer switch so I can fix that. Now normally what I'd have to do is go out to the breaker and flip the circuits on. Hopefully it's labeled correctly so I know which one this is. Otherwise I'm going to be going back and forth a bunch of times. Today it happens to be raining. Well with the Span app, I'm able to do that all from my phone. So I happen to know that this one here is labeled Island and I can literally just press a button and I flipped the circuit breaker. This is literally like if I went out there and switched it off. Now it's safe for me to replace the dimmer and I'm good to go. It also acts as sort of a smart light where these lights are not you know, controlled by a Wi-Fi or anything, but they are controlled by the circuit. So I can kind of treat them as such if I wanted to. I don't know if that's totally the function I'd want to use all the time, but it's certainly possible. And this is just one of the awesome things that this app and this smart panel give you. So now I've got the new light switch installed, the new dimmer switch, and I can turn this back on. And you see that they came on, they are a bit dim right now. And if I slide this up and down, voila, and I can turn it off. And all this was 
just predicated on the ability for me to do this. I mean, I could have done it manually, but wow, what a time saver. And uh, I can tell you, as someone that has to do these things somewhat regularly, I'm gonna be using this a lot. And as I mentioned before, this kind of control is really handy in a backup situation as well when the grid goes down. Now, it's rare that you can put your whole house on backup, like I mentioned, which means you have to choose which circuits to add to your backup in advance. And you can't really change them once it's installed without rewiring everything. Well, with Span, you can actually configure which loads are on backup dynamically from your phone. If I go into the backup priority section, you see how much time I currently have on backup based on my current energy usage, like what I'm actually using in that moment, and then which loads are configured to be must-haves and then nice-to-haves versus non-essentials. The must-haves will always work, regardless of the battery charge level, but the nice-to-haves will work only when the battery is above 50%. Then they will shut off to conserve power. I know what you're thinking, but what if I wanna run my TV even when it's below 50%? I mean, yeah, you need you know to finish binge watching all these awesome YouTube videos, so I get it, I do. Well, the good news is that you can just drag and drop the loads you want to be in the must-have section at any time, letting you dynamically adjust what's backed up and what's not. Again, this is not possible today without a SPAN smart electric panel. It really is the only thing out there that is enabling this function, this control, whereas before it literally would be rewiring all those circuits. It's just not something that's even possible. And that's what I love about this product and why I was really excited to work with them. And also the SPAN app allows me to look at my solar energy, how much I'm generating in real time, plus across the day, weeks, and months. And of course I can look at the overall trends for solar, battery, and home usage across those same time periods. One thing I thought that was pretty neat also is that because I can look at the circuit level monitoring, I can see exactly how much my electric vehicle is pulling from the charger. And then I can compare that to see what the car is actually reporting as to how much it consumed and see if there's any loss there. Maybe I have a wiring issue or anything else, or maybe it's fine, it, I, I don't know, but let's have a look. All right, so here in the SPAN app, you can see exactly like what's happening in this moment. And then when I go into my spaces here, you can see all of the different circuits and what's being used currently. Then I just click into the actual electric vehicle charger right here, and I can kind of scroll back across time and see what's being used. So these little murmurations here, this is nothing, right? 0 0.2, 0 0.02 kilowatt hours, nothing. But if I look at a week's time frame, you're gonna see some spikes here. So this is when I'm actually charging. And so if you look here, I can see that at you know peak rates, we're looking at about 6.8 kilowatts. That's the amount of energy or 7.0 7 kilowatts right there. This is when we charge our car. It's only a couple times per week, right? We have these really long range EVs. We don't need to do it. Uh, every single day. So we can look here and say, all right, so from 2 a.m. to 1 a.m., et cetera, I was able to pull in a, a good chunk of energy there. And then you can see overall for the past week that it's pulled in 91 kilowatt hours. So that's how much energy we've used to charge our cars. We were only charging one car here, I think, uh, the other one we charge at the office. But that's how much total energy we've consumed for the electric vehicle charger alone. Now let's see what the car is actually saying we consumed. All right, so here in Tesla Lab, I can actually go see what my battery has been doing. And on top, you have a charge here that was running for three hours and 17 minutes, added 100 miles and took 24 kilowatt hours. Scroll down to get the next one. Similar story, 23.4 kilowatt hours that time. And then down below that at 33.9, we'll call it 34 kilowatt hours. So that's really interesting because what I'm seeing is span reporting that in the past week I've consumed or the electric vehicle has consumed 91 kilowatt hours. But when I'm looking at the logs in Tesla to see how much energy was actually added to the car, we're only at 82 kilowatt hours. So there's a pretty big disparity there, right? 10 kilowatt hours is nothing to sneeze at. And so this leads me to think, is there something with the efficiency of the wiring and all that? My electric vehicle charger is really far away from where the actual grid connection is, or is that just typical for this kind of loss? And this is the data that is enabling me to have these kind of discussions and questions 
because now I can see exactly what's going on at the circuit level. And in addition to all that, Span is going to send over there updates to these smart panels, giving you new features. For example, it now works with Alexa. You can ask it how much time you have on backup or have it switch one of these circuit breakers on and off like you saw me do manually from my phone. That feature didn't even exist when I recorded this video, so that just gives you a sense of how quick they're actually releasing new features and why the value of this product is just going to continue to increase over time. So again, having this level of monitoring and control is just amazing. I'm so glad that Span decided to partner with me here. And if you're interested in learning more, checking out their products, seeing if it's right for you, check the link in the description down below, or just go to span.io slash Ben Sullins. And if you have any questions, leave them down there and I or someone from Span will try to get back to you. Also stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing a review of this in the future after having used it for a little while. And I will be working with them to kind of continually improve their app over time. So there's lots more of good things to come around this product and what it might do for you in your home. That's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget, when you free the data, your mind will follow. I'll see you back here in the next one.